Hey guys, welcome to another episode from Stacy. Here We Grow Again. Today I just want to go over some tips on watering the garden and, you know, finding your happy medium for that. I know, you know, even I struggle with watering nowadays because the climate, you have to adjust yourself by the climate. Mother Nature is going to do its thing and it's going to be hot, it's going to be cold, it's going to be rainy, you know, it's going to be foggy, moisture is going to be in the air. So it's all going to depend on what your climate is doing at that time. Now today is pretty hot out. It, we've been pretty cold the past few days. It's dropped to like 50 during the day and then 30s at night. But today we're going to be up at 80 so my containers are going to dry out a lot faster than they have been over the past few days. Now this is pretty wet already, this broccoli. And we are germinating seeds, so we wanna make sure this stays nice and wet like this. So that's all I do for germinating my seeds. I use this little squirt bottle because it doesn't move my soil around. Or you can use like a little watering bottle, watering can, and this is totally dry, this soil. And since we're germinating some more broccoli in here, uh, we really need to keep this wet. You know, you need to watch your pots, especially when you're germinating new seeds. We're starting our, we're actually gonna be starting the spring garden soon. So I can't even believe we're in spring already. I'm still doing winter, I'm still in winter mode. And um, we just wanna make sure our soil stays nice and moist and um, especially germinating and then know what you grow. You know, you have to know what you grow. So we're gonna go out in the garden in a second, but you know, for veggies and herbs and stuff like that, this is a citronella plant, so this doesn't need much water. You gotta know what you're growing. You know, know, know how much water it likes. Does it like to stay moist? Does it like to stay on the dry side? That's all you gotta do when you look it up. You know, how much moisture does sage like? How much moisture does basil like? Basil likes to stay moist at all times, and sage likes to stay moist, but not too moist. Not as wet as basil, and sage likes to dry out three quarters of the way, and then you can go ahead and soak your pot again. Now this might look dry to you up on top, but if you go ahead and put your finger in that soil, that is wet. So I feel a lot of moisture in the soil, and I'm not gonna water yet, it's just not that time. This needs to dry out at least by the end of the day today into tomorrow, and then I know I'm gonna be okay to water again, because if I go and water while those roots are still wet halfway down that container, well, that's going to cause rotting. So I just want to take you outside and show you some things around the garden. Alrighty, so know what you grow. <laughs> Radish. We got some scarlet white tips and some early globes. And we are getting cracking. See that? We got a crack because we are not finding a happy medium for our radish. Radishes love to stay constantly moist at all times. So guess what? This radish is only going to grow so far down. So this has to be moist up here and this is drying out. So I'm gonna have to come in here, even though it's moist down at the bottom, it just rained and we've had cold weather. You can see it's moist, but it's gonna dry out on top since we're gonna have 80 degree weather today. It's good, the tops are gonna dry out. And if this dries out around where this radish is forming right here, especially that it's sticking out of the soil, this radish is gonna end up cracking and you don't want that for your radishes. You want them to be nice and firm and just look pretty smooth and you don't want that down them. So we're gonna go over onto our other tote and kind of show you what we're talking about with the moisture in the tote. Now this is gonna dry out a lot slower than the containers. So I just have to keep an eye on this and this is why, you know, finding a happy medium. If it feels wet to you and you think those radishes are getting enough moisture on top, then you're good to go. But you know, for peppers and stuff, know what you grow. These peppers don't require moisture at all times. They only require watering when they need it. You know, when that soil dries out completely to the bottom, you can see the soil's pretty dry up top. But when I go down, it's not dry. It's moist, it's wet. That plant's gonna be sucking it up. You can see how much moisture is in there. And uh, the peppers are gonna be just fine. But radishes and stuff like that, I'm gonna have to just give them a little bit. So. Since we're gonna be getting a rain here and it's really not that wet yet, the soil. I'm gonna go and take my container and just wet the top. This isn't gonna get any more sun for the day so I know my foliage isn't gonna be burning and I just go ahead and wet the top just a little bit. So I'm finding that happy medium. It is almost impossible to overwater radish <laughs> especially when it's growing in the grounds I mean really unless you're watering like a gallon of water a day which you should not be you you should be fine you know 
check your garden. As soon as that soil seems dry to you out in the garden, water again. I'm gonna go to the containers and kinda give you some tips on how I water those. Okay, so container garden. We got some kale we transplanted today, which right after you transplant, you should be watering, keeping your soil moist for the first few days because these were all in the same pot. They were crunched together. You know, we broke up the roots a little bit, so they might get a little stunted. We buried the kale up to the little node down here. Excuse that car horn. Every time I've been trying to shoot this video today, something's been going on. So either the wind blows the hair in my mouth and I'm talking with a mouthful of hair, or my containers, I'm chasing them across the lawn. Alarms are going off, blowers are going, so I apologize for all the background noise, guys. I'm trying to get this video done and rocked out for you so I can get planting and grow some more things. <laughs> this is cottage garden. They don't need much water, and neither does lettuce. Lettuce likes to dry out a little bit between the watering. So you can see this container's really moist in here. We don't need any water. Know what you grow, you know? This cottage garden, we're good. They're not gonna need any water. These containers are pretty soaked, so I know we're gonna be good. See, these are wet. These containers are gonna stay wet for a little while because, actually guys, see, this is dry. Look how dry this is. So see, this container soaked but this one is so dry. Look at this. And this is way too dry for radish. So even though I feel a little moisture in the soil for radishes, this is way too dry. And we're gonna grow funky. We're gonna start growing, you know, with, with cracks in them. Thank goodness this one doesn't have any, but they will. You can see, look at that crack starting right there because this soil is drying out. So just make sure that's not happening to you guys. We need to soak this pot all the way through to the bottom. So let me see if I have enough. Let me pause this video real quick. I wanna show you how I water. Okay, so since this container needs water and these two don't because of the rain we've been getting, I went and grabbed my watering can. And this is what I usually do. Instead of watering with the hose, I usually just water just the soil you don't want to hit the foliage too much because this sun's out and it's the afternoon guys it's like two o'clock in the afternoon right now and that sun is going to end up burning my foliage so make sure you're not hitting your foliage too much when you are watering during the day if you do have to come out here and, and water this i'm so glad this dried out on me because i wanted to show you that you know it doesn't matter if you watered all this stuff at once this was all watered at once when it rained the ground the totes everything i haven't touched anything but i had to water that one container because we're growing quite a bit in there and that soil is drying out really quick these, we're probably not gonna have to water, this blueberry and blackberry, because they're in a really big pot. And that soil is really wet still. And we don't want these blueberries getting overwatered. You can see she's starting to bloom, she's looking good. She's got them pink blooms all over her. She's really doing a good job, so we don't want this little gal to get overwatered. Let's check this together. See, we're good. Might look dry up top, but until you go in and fill your container, you're not gonna know. So this blackberry and blueberry containers need to dry out at least three quarters of the way, and then I go ahead and water again. And then I freshen up that soil, usually once every few months or so on her. Strawberries are almost done, so these are gonna need a little bit more water because they're pushing fruit out and stuff. Just like peppers, you know, they're sucking up a lot of that water, a lot of the nutrients. So she's been getting quite a bit of water keeping her moist. You can see this pot's nice and moist, so we're good. We don't need water. And um, we're gonna let this strawberry dry out. Not all the way. We're gonna let it dry out like half to three quarters of the way, and then we'll go ahead and water again for her. But these are done. So look how they get if you don't pick them right away. The birds get to them, the squirrels get to them, them little peckers. This was a beautiful strawberry yesterday guys so we need to pick these two before these animals get to these anymore but guess what i'm gonna cut that out if it's not a worm in there i'm gonna cut this and eat this beautiful strawberry on this side i'm not wasting that <laughs> these bugs try to eat your garden up but you know what they're salvageable things are salvageable and uh, you just got to pay attention to what's going on we're gonna have a lot more strawberries here so i can't wait for that we're good on water though. This little seedling, look. 
See this little container, even though everything rained on it all at once? This is a little pot, and this is broccoli, so this needs to stay moist at all times. And this is really dry, so we have to water this all the way through and soak it down. These little peas and lettuce right here, this is actually dry, this soil. So I'm going to end up harvesting this lettuce soon before this. This is going to be maturing out to a full head. It's starting to stalk up into a full head now. Black seeded Simpson. And I don't want it to start to flower. So I'm going to check back on my video, see how old it is, and probably go ahead and harvest this lettuce out of this container. You can see the soil is pretty dry in here with my peas. So I'll probably have to go ahead. Let me feel this. Nope, see, we're wet. So even though it looks bone dry up top, throw your container. If it's wet for your peas and stuff, you don't want to overwater the lettuce and the peas because they get root rot really fast. So just wait for that pot to dry out like three quarters of the way to the bottom and you're good to go. Your ground here, this is going to probably not need water for a good couple of days now because the ground's really wet. But I have to keep an eye on it because we have lots of fruit. So you have lots of peppers that are growing we got to keep an eye on it, make sure she's getting lots of water right now. She's actually given me like five or six peppers already. And you can see just how much more she's pushing out. Lots of water right now, you know, as soon as the soil dries out, as soon as I feel that this is dry enough, I'll go ahead and water again. If it looks dry, if it looks like it's struggling, I'll go ahead and water. You just don't want to give too much of something because too much of something is no good. Hope this video helps you guys in the best way possible to just keep your plants healthy no matter what you're growing in the garden and uh, just know what you grow, you know, know how much water your plants like, whether it's green beans, carrots, carrots are going to need to stay moist at all times, especially when germinating. So see this, this is dry and I'm germinating. These are really little. This is too dry for carrots. Even though we're moist a little bit on the bottom, I'm going to need to water. This isn't wet enough for carrots. They're not going to grow right. They're going to dry out. They'll stall out. And then I have to come in here and thin these out because they're all clumped together. So we'll thin them out a little bit, give them their own little space, and we'll be good to go. Till next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And share this video on social media on, with your friends. Get the word out. Let's grow together. Let's have fun, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.